Happy and healthy altitudes to you. Hello, I'm Gary Giannetti, and I'm coming to you from Healthy Altitudes, Colorado. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Matt Moran, and I'm coming to you from sunny North Carolina in your peak mind. And I'm glad to talk with you today. Welcome to our, our episode here. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about reframing. There's a buzzword that you might have heard before someplace. Um, but before I tell you exactly what I mean by reframing, I, I want to tell you a story. I want you to sort of get into the mood here just for a second. Is that all right with you? Yeah, let's do this. Fantastic. So let's like imagine for a second, especially to all those viewers who might have spent some time in the woods. And what I want you to do is I want you to just imagine yourself or remember a time when maybe you were walking in the woods and you're walking along, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of guided imagery here. You're walking along, you're walking, everything's nice, it's a beautiful day, the wind is blowing, it's a beautiful thing. You can smell wonderful smells from nature. And you're walking along. And suddenly you come upon a snake in the path. And that snake is just sitting there. It's just, just sitting there, sunning itself, whatever. It's a snake in the path. Immediately you freeze. What do you do? What's going on in your mind? For a lot of people, me included, seeing that snake in the, in the road or in the path might make my heart start to race, might make me start thinking, oh my gosh, what's going to, do I have to run? Should I, should I stay frozen? What should I do? In that split second, when I've recognized that there's a threat in the road, when that snake is sitting on the, on the path, all of a sudden I went from having a really nice, wonderful day to going, oh my gosh, there's, a, there's something that could really hurt me. Yeah. That's all it took. Now yeah. imagine just in that same second that one more look at that snake and it turns out it's just a piece of old rope. <laughs> what happens? Yeah. You sort of just kick yourself and you say, oh man, it's just a rope. But your heart rate begins to immediately come down. You start coming back to what is normal and you start going, oh man, I really overreacted with that. It was just a rope. Your perception of what you saw is your reality. In that yeah. moment, the perception was a, a very dangerous animal was sitting on a path in front of you. But then all of a sudden your perception changed and what happened? You came right back down again. Your heart didn't race as, as long. Maybe it came down from being as fast as it was beating. Uh, your, your fight or flight was deactivated. Everything was fine. Can you remember a time like that? I'm sure you can. It doesn't have to be a snake. It could be someone is threatening you with, hey, you, this thing cost $500 when you thought it was $50. Or, hey, you owe $750 in taxes when you really only owe $750. There's all kinds of evidence of that when all of a sudden your ire begins to rise or your threat uh, level begins to go up. I'm sure you can identify with that. And that's kind of where I want to talk about reframing really quickly. So imagine in that moment when you're walking on that path and you happen to see that snake. If I could arrest your thinking right at that moment and say, wait a minute, it's just a rope, wouldn't that be useful? Your whole mentality would immediately change. And that's kind of what I'm talking about with this. Um, a lot of people think, think in terms of, especially with what's going on today, but it doesn't always have to be about today. It could be you know, loss of a job or maybe you get injured if you're an athlete and you, know, you can't run that marathon you were doing. The idea that you've had an unexpected opportunity versus an unexpected setback. You hear that reframe? Right. The right. idea that you're taking something that could be something that's negative for you and put it into something that's in positive terms. So for example, you know, I hear a lot of people these days, my neighbors included, saying, oh man, I'm stuck at home. Right, yeah. Well, they're stuck at home because their businesses aren't working. Maybe they're not making any money. Maybe they're having to be with their little, little kids and it's really hard to entertain them all the hours that they normally didn't have to do that. They're stuck at home. But if they can think about it in terms of, I'm safe at home, or I get to be home. Look at all this extra time that I have. Even if I don't get to do exactly what I want to do, I'm in a place where I'm okay. Yeah. Doesn't that reframe give you a different perspective on how you take these things? Doesn't that snake then become a rope? And all of a sudden you get to use something that's, that's a little bit more um, available to you. Or maybe in, in terms of the athlete who says, oh man, I stubbed my toe, now I can't run anymore. Well, what can you do? How can you reframe that situation? Maybe if you can't use your, your foot because you've stubbed your toe, maybe now this is a great, a great time to take care of those pecs. Something you can yeah. do to sit down and maybe do some exercising to work on a different part of your body because you still can do something. If you can't do anything physically, maybe you can do something with your mind. Maybe it's a great time to take up uh, Sudoku or, or one of those things. There's a million games out there. The point yeah. is to reframe it to, the, to something that is going to be beneficial to you. You're going to get out of the uh, habit of saying, 
man, my life is terrible. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I think that's a really great point. And I think that um, that happens a lot because people get focused on the negative or what they can't have. An example is when I'm working with clients and I say, okay, you want to lose weight? Well, they've had an experience that made them you know, feel like if they need to lose weight, they need to do without a certain kind of food. Someone has told them that, whether it's a nutritionist, a personal trainer, a dietitian, a sibling, a significant other, someone had told them, or they read it in a, you know, in a magazine, they read, to lose weight, you need to get rid of all the food you like. You need to get rid of donuts, you need to get rid of pizza, you need to get rid of all these different things. That's not true. So if you reframe it and say, if you can do some fun things, you can lose weight in the process. Those fun things can be getting outside to walk on a hike, look for snakes, <laughs> you know, um, go out and, and see what you can do outside. Find some new walking in your neighborhood, you know, um, find some ways to try a new recipe, right? You know, looking at the fun things you can do if you're stuck at home. We've tried more recipes being at home in the last couple of weeks than we normally would get to. That's a gift, right? That's a gift of time that we got as my family. And, and I learned some cool recipes. And, and by the way, I share some of those on the Healthy Altitudes website if you want some of those recipes. But I think learning all that stuff and how you use that gift of time, reframing it to look at it as a gift and look at it as, hey, this is great, this is safe, and this is awesome that I can spend time at home. That's fantastic and that's a great way to look at it. And I think like for those people who think, you know, oh, I'm gonna have to make huge changes so I'm just not gonna make any because it's gonna be hard to make all those changes. Reframe it and say, hey, make one small change or appreciate where you are. The reframing is a fantastic concept and I think that that's really important for people to remember. So thanks so much, Dr. Matt. I think that's really helpful for athletes and I think that's great for people through the coronavirus but also for your life. Excellent. Thank you for letting me talk with you a little bit and I hope you got some good information out of that. Uh, Thanks so much. This is Matt Randall coming to you from Your Peak Mine in North Carolina. You can find me on the web as well. Thanks so much, Dr. Matt, and we'll see you on the next YouTube video and uh, follow us on Facebook, Your Peak Mind or Healthy Altitudes. Be well. <laughs>